guess what? Tyson Fury confirms that the deal is done. August 14th is going down. Let's go to the opening bell. Tyson Fury puts a message out on Instagram this past Sunday afternoon. Check it out. Hey there, it's Tyson Fury, the Gypsy King. Got some massive news for you all, guys. I've just got off the phone from Prince Khalid of Saudi Arabia. Um, he told me this fight's a 100% hot. Uh, August 14th, 2021, summertime. All eyes of the world will be on the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And I cannot wait, repeat, cannot wait to smash Anthony Joshua on the biggest stage of all times. This is gonna be the biggest sporting event ever to grace the planet Earth. Do not miss it. All eyes on us. Peace out, God bless. See you all in Saudi! Yes! Get it. Prince Khalid is my boy as well, Barack. He texted me before he hit Fury. I met him, you know, a while back uh, in New York City, but it's official, B. Yeah, he, I think he <laughs> used to own the bodega on your corner. That's nice. But first of all, I know you feel the same way. There was a whole bunch of news every other week about Fury Joshua and nothing was solid. But it was already good enough for me when Eddie Hearn said the deal is done. We're just waiting for the Saudis to announce it to me, to give me the call, to give me the go ahead. That part of it takes time. After that, I really didn't care anymore. I just said, whatever, they're gonna publicly make it the announcement whenever. Cause think about it, whenever he spoke, Eddie Hearn, he would always say, yeah, we're looking to announce it next week. So in my mind, that's telling me it's already announced. Oh, I don't have to wait for some formal announcement. Right. Just, just tell me the date and, and that's it. I'll book my flight. So. But think about it, there's seven people involved with this, at least, I don't know, six, seven people that had to sign, MTK Global, 258 Management, Joshua, Fury, uh, Hearn, uh, Top Rank, everybody had to sign it, but only one person announced it. Only, only one person, and that was Tyson Fury, you know? So in reality, this didn't matter to me, I'm not gonna lie. And Barack, this might not be news for you because we already heard this figure, 150 million, but guess what? It went up another five million for that. So that's the final figure for the amount of money for that pot full of money for the AJ Fury fight. So AJ gets 75 million. Fury gets a guaranteed 75 million and five million dollars for you know expenses, food, the stepkids on the undercard. It's just it's just what you know what it is, man. The big dogs are gonna get the bulk of the money, so it's official. I don't want to hear anything else about something not being official or we still need this, we need that, we need to sign this. I don't even want to refer to some of the whispers I heard yesterday, but it's going down, Barack. Maybe Fury in his Instagram video is embellishing a little bit the whole, you know, this would be the biggest sporting event on the planet. I don't know. It ain't like a Muhammad Ali fight, you know, but I do think that because it was dragged out for so long and then you had Fury's great performance, Joshua's coming off of two wins. It, it will be a huge event, you know? Bet, biggest thing on the planet, biggest sporting event on the planet. I don't know. It could very well be. It could very well grossing, be. Biggest well, grossing, we see 155 million. But what I was gonna say was that being on that undercard, how do you look at it? Like, damn, these dudes are making 75 million and I'm part of that 5 million, you know? <laughs> or you look at it like, Hey, this is the blessing. I get all of these eyes on me and I'm making some, some decent money. Maybe I'm making the most I've ever made. Who knows? It depends who's on the undercard. Thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe. All Media New York.